टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ क्लिनिकल केस ऑफ एक्यूट एबडामिन वी विल मेक आवर डायग्नोसिस एंड वील लर्न हाउ टू मैनेज आवर पेशेंट अ फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड अल्कोहलिक मैन प्रेजेंट्स विद सीवियर एपिगेस्ट्रिक पेन दैट बिगेन शॉर्टली आफ्टर अ हैवी बाउट ऑफ अल्कोहलिक इनटेक एंड रीच मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टू आवर्स द पेन इज कॉन्स्टेंट रेडिएट स्ट्रेट थ्रू टू द बैक एंड इज अकम्पनीड बाई नाउजिया वॉमिटिंग एंड रेचिंग ही हैड अ सिमिलर एपिसोड टू ईयर्स अगो फॉर विच ही रिक्वायर्ड हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन नाउ वट इज यूर डायग्नोसिस एंड हाउ यू मैनेज दिस पेशेंट If we review the case again we can say it's the classic presentation of acute pancreatitis because here patient presents with severe epigastric pain which radiate through to the back with nausea and vomiting and if we do physical examination on physical examination acute pancreatitis patient also with epigastric tenderness or sometime with guarding in severe cases there may be hemodynamically instability due to inflammatory response and we often note colin signs and gray turner sign now what is colin sign colin sign is a bruising around the umbilicus and gray turner sign is bruising in the flanks now how we diagnose this patient first of all i will talk about the investigations the first investigation is serum amylase and lipase in acute pancreatitis the amylase level increases up to four fold of normal but serum lipase is also elevated in 76 to 90% of cases and remain elevated for longer time than amylase and it is more specific than amylase investigation is ultrasonography of abdomen we must perform within 24 hours in all patient to detect gallstone as a potential cause ct scan is a gold standard investigation for diagnosis of pancreatitis but it is not used routinely it it is indicated only when diagnosis is uncertain severe acute pancreatitis to distinguish interstitial from necrotizing pancreatitis and we also use it when local complications like abscess necrosis pseudocyst are suspected the fourth one is laparotomy sometime laparotomy is performed in acute pancreatitis by mistake considering it as a case of peritonitis if pancreatitis is found one may see multiple tubercles over the omentum these are caused by fat necrosis in imaging the first investigation is abdominal ultrasound as i discussed before is used to identify any gallstone and we also use uh, abdominal x ray chest x ray we use abdominal x ray to see dilated proximal bowel loop adjacent to the pancreas and we use chest x ray to see pleural effusion or signs of ards if you see this image it shows localized edema around the pancreas but in this image extensive fluid collections around the pancreas is visible so here our diagnosis is acute pancreatitis because our patient has severe epigastric pain which radiated to the back and he also has nausea and vomiting i also mentioned about collins and gray turner signs and he has uh, epigastric tenderness in the case of mild attack of pancreatitis conservative approach is first iv fluids monitoring of vitals analgesia for example morphine anti emetics if nausea occurs antibiotics are not indicated here and mostly we see recovery within 72 hours in the case of severe acute pancreatitis first 
we admit the patient in ICU. Then replace fluid and electrolytes, oxygenation, analgesia as I discussed in mild pancreatitis. Then monitor vitals, nasogastric aspiration, biochemical monitoring, and we will check LFTs, RFTs, serum calcium, sugar, TLC, and LDH. And here we also use antibiotic prophylaxis. If cause of pancreatitis is gallstone or there are any signs of cholangitis, then ERCP should be performed to extract the stone from common bile duct. Here we also use nutritional support. In severe acute pancreatitis, the last step of management is radiological interventions and surgery. If patient develop infective necrosis of pancreas or abscess, then CT scan guided needle should be passed and necrotic material or pus should be aspired. But if sepsis worsens despite these measures, then necrosectomy should be considered. The key points of my discussion first, most cases of acute pancreatitis are due to either gallstones or alcohol. Serum amylase is three times to normal. Ultrasounds only used to identify gallstones, while CT scan are only used if complications are suspected or diagnosis is not certain. And the treatment is conservative and antibiotics should only be used as a prophylaxis in cases of confirmed pancreatic necrosis. Thank you so much.